This is my 20 long. It's going to have a birthday this month. It's going to be three years old. And I recently had a request to show some of the equipment. This has no sump. It has no refuge in it. It's just very simple setup. It works wonderfully. It's beautiful. And um, the um, basic equipment that I have is this. Um, it's an AquaClear 70 filter and um, it has been on here since I started the tank. It's been wonderful. In the back of it I have um, there's a heater. You can't see it but it's a Neotherm heater and I took the stuff that came out of the AquaClear and I don't use that and what I do is I put um, I cut two pieces of pad um, that you can cut to size and I lay one down in it sideways like you see there down a little further and then I take pantyhose and I put um, carbon from bulk reef in one of them and um, just like two tablespoons and then two tablespoons of um, Fosgard in the other one and rinse them well, throw them in there so, and then put another pad on top. There's also a piece of polyfilter, a little piece in there. And I sandwich it so the water has to flow through it. And so it not only polishes the water, but the water is flowing through the um, carbon and the Fosgard and um, a little piece of polyfilter that's in there. And I change that once a week I do a water change and I change all that because I have so many corals in here that are probably fighting I need to keep that um, um, going and um, pulling stuff out I only have two water movement things in here um, I think they're both made by Hydor um, that one is uh, one of the nano ones I don't remember what flow it was to something maybe I don't know have it blowing straight down the back behind my rocks. None of my rocks are against the wall um, so that I can have good circulation in here and not have any buildup or problems. And the other one is a little adjustable high door one and I have it blowing across the top where my SPS's are so that they get good water flow. And um, of course the aqua filter makes water flow as well. And um, I can't say that everything I've put in here has done well, um, but most things that I put in here that are don't need extremely high light do well. I have on here, when I started this tank, I only had one of these um, current lights on here. It's not the Pro. Um, and um, things grew well. And then about a year ago, I, I put a, a second one on there because the front wasn't getting as much light for some of the corals I wanted to put in there and it does really really well with the two lights on there and um, I do a, a weekly water change using distilled water I use plain old instant ocean salt and I change out probably five gallons because this is such a crowded tank with so many things fighting and um, the chemical warfare that's probably going on in there and I vacuum the substrate. There's hardly any sand left over the three years that I've had this tank. It's gotten less and less sand, but I vacuum the sand um, every week. And um, I had a very, not a deep sand bed anyways, about an inch. And um, I do dose this tank. I dose it with two-part um, B-Ionic. I put probably 10 cc's in here every day, except for the day I do a water change. Um, I don't do it that day. I also use Reef Energy in this tank. I put about one dropper full of each in here every day. I feed this tank um, frozen once in a while, mycets once in a while. Um, I use um, Coral Frenzy or Reef Frenzy to feed this tank and also um, Spectrum sinking pellets, um, 
throw some in there every day to make it simple and I do like I said put my seats in here once in a while so that they have something different and um, my clowns host these pink pallies and because uh, they don't have an anemone and they love it and um, I've had them for three years um, I haven't I have a build I did the build of this tank on nanoreef.com and it's under my 20 long journey and it starts right from when I had just rocks and then what corals I put in here and it, it only goes to I only kept it up till about 2016 and I've changed a few things out it's constant work in progress um, if I find a coral I want to try in here sometimes I have to crack off one of the ones that I don't like as much and um, but um, most of these I got as frags just little frags and they've just grown over the years and they've all done really really well so um, Happy birthday to my 20 long tank. It's three years old. <laughs>